today, we're at number four of the top 10 episodes of the Couple Money Podcast. One of the most frequently asked questions I get on the blog and the podcast is about dumping debt, specifically how to do it faster. And it makes complete sense. Once you dump debt, a weight has been lifted. You have so many options for your money. There are plenty of methods and ways to get out of debt. I share two of the biggest ones on this episode, the debt snowball and avalanche. Rather than tell you which one is the right move, I highlighted the pros and cons of both. Because personal finance is just that, personal. Your marriage is different from others. How quickly you got into that debt and how you got into that debt. Those are things to talk about so the two of you can figure out what's your next step. That's what this podcast is about, giving you the tools, the lay of the land, but it's up to you to make the trip from where you are now to where you want to be. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Welcome to the Couple Money Podcast, where we discuss building up your marriage and your net worth. Here's your host, El Martinez. Welcome to a Q&A session of the Couple Money Podcast. The first episode was released last week, and I've gotten some wonderful feedback from you. Thank you so much for the words of encouragement and the questions. Before this week's episode is posted, I wanted to give some answers to questions asked about the previous one, paying off your debt faster. My intention is to clarify and give some insights with the topics we consider in a more interactive format. I'm covering two questions today. The first of which is, how did you decide on those five steps for paying off debt faster? That's a good question, especially since we're talking about such a huge change. Besides looking at how necessary each step was, I was also looking at what is the smallest bite size I can make for each step. For example, the second and third steps were reviewing debt methods as a couple and choosing the method that is easiest to keep. Looks like it would be one step. And for some people it can be. But when you're talking about doing something new and changing a habit, I try to make it as easy as possible. So I broke that down into two steps. The second question I received was looking at the numbers, the debt avalanche or stacking method is definitely faster than the snowball. Why would you put the debt snowball as an equal option to it? Great question. This actually gets into why I created the podcast. I want each episode to act as a starting point for you guys to have a discussion on what is the best financial system for the two of you. When deciding which method to mention on the show, I was basically looking at, is it effective and is it sustainable? Both the debt snowball and the debt avalanche or stack, however you want to call it, uh, have helped people become debt free. They both work and mainly because you are focusing on one debt at a time. And that is a huge help when you're making a behavior change. If we're only looking at the numbers, debt stacking or the avalanche is the superior method. You will pay it off faster. But there's more to it than just how effective it is. I'm also looking at how sustainable it is. I want to know how likely is someone going to keep this method. Dave Ramsey likes to say that personal finance is 20% head knowledge, 80% behavior. And I agree with the gist of that that most people get into financial trouble not because they don't understand the basics of math, but because they develop habits that make it easy for them to slip into debt. If that's the two of you, then one of the major hurdles you have to overcome is changing your behavior, and that's easier said than done. How many times have we said, oh, I'm going to get better with the budget, I'm going to get in shape, or pick up a new hobby? Probably many more times than we've actually accomplished those goals. The best motivation to help you change a habit is to have a quick and real win. And that's how the debt snowball works. You get rid of your smaller debts up front, and that helps you to keep going until all your debt is paid off. And that's really the goal, getting rid of your debt. I want the two of you to be able to focus on saving, investing, and using your income on more important goals. The debt snowball and the debt avalanche or stacking both offer effective and sustainable ways to do so. So I recommend them both. You choose what is a better fit for the two of you. Thanks again for the questions. I hope my answers help. If you have anything else you'd like to ask me, please email me or leave a comment on couplemoneypodcast.com. Have a wonderful day.